<laughs> the squiggle was much thicker in Sue Berm's painting. Was it because she was bigger? Or was it because she used a bigger brush? George needed to paint a lavender blob, but he had no lavender paint. Out here, Mr. Glass. Uh -oh. Mr. Zubel and Mr. Glass were right above him. George worried they'd look down and see the painting. Ah, we could also use lights like this to focus attention on the painting. Great, let's do it. There's one other thing I think you should have. It's in the oven. You keep art supplies in your oven? N no, I make carrot cake. Oh, one piece, then back to my lobby to hang my unique painting. George had to finish his painting in the time it took one billionaire to eat one piece of carrot cake. was the closest color George had to lavender, but it was wrong. <laughs> Charky's feet reminded George how Sue Burr mixed colors to make different colors. Sharky hadn't made lavender, but she had made black. <gasps> George had to find the combination of colors that would make lavender. <gasps> White turned the color lighter. George hoped he could get to the glass tower before Mr. Glass. Uh, oh, uh, hi, George. Hey, that's my unique painting, and another one just like it? There are two. And that's not unique. There cannot be two. Every Sue Byrne painting is different. And why isn't it in my lobby, where I left it? Monkey! <laughs> hmm. They're almost identical, but this one has Subram's nose print. Uh -oh. The ripped one is the original. Monkey! Hold on. George, did you make this copy because that one ripped? It's almost perfect. You're a good painter, George. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. A painting monkey? A painting elephant? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Well, of course not. Because what I'm thinking is... Unique! me that anywhere else in the whole world there's an elephant and a monkey painting in a lobby. Well, I'd say your lobby is unique. Yes, exactly. And you know the best part. <laughs> they work for peanuts. <laughs>